Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Payne. Welcome back to another episode of Blotion Crypto. So today I want to talk about the recent update in Heroes of Mavia 2.4.0, which is the biggest they have ever rolled out to date. And of course, we all know we got HQ8 with this one, but there is a lot more to unpack with this. So I want to go through the change log, get you guys up to speed so you know exactly what's going on with this update. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Play. Okay, so we know we've got headquarters level eight and building updates are available. So what that means is, you know, HQ8, we've got new levels on all the buildings. We also have more buildings. There's things like an additional sniper tower, missile tower, anti-air, another rally point, which is absolutely massive and turret. So that's great. It's gonna make base building a lot more interesting and of course more difficult. We also know we got the layout editor. You can now easily edit and store your bases. This is amazing. Personally, as a base builder myself, I've been waiting for this for a very long time. There's definitely some more improvements I think they need to make to this, but just to get it out there so that we can kind of see it is incredible. There's also a little hidden feature in here that a lot of people might not know, but you can actually attack your own base for four Ruby. So when you open up the base editor and you actually tap on your base, you'll see that you can fight it. So you can actually practice attacks against your own base, or maybe build a base that you're struggling with, copy someone else's base, and now get practice attacks against it. Although this is gonna be pretty crazy when it comes to wars and competitive play and things like that. So let's see what you can do with that. I know I'm gonna be using it quite a bit. There's also daily gifts and daily challenges. So of course the daily gifts, every day there's a new reward. For the challenges every day, there's different challenges that come up. I know a lot of people right now are really trying to get you know, or hope to get uh, daily challenges that reward Sapphire, especially if you're a free-to-play player, so you can get that extra engineer rate now. So keep it up. I know some people have told me they haven't gotten any Sapphire quests yet and they're hurting, but they do exist and they will come up occasionally, which is really cool. Also they added, they call the shop 3.0. You can now buy gold and oil with Sapphire and there's an added progress bar with rewards based on your purchases. So the more you purchase gold and sa uh, oil, there's this progress bar that's gonna fill and you get a reward at the end. So that's kind of cool. There's a little added bonus on top. Also they added Mira super powers. So she actually has two. There's kind of a passive one that just goes off every now and then. And there's an active one as well. And then the active one has a cooldown timer. This is pretty sweet. And we're gonna talk a little bit about Mirror down in the balancing changes, but her ability is really awesome. I'm totally digging it. We also got two new buildings, traps. Yes, <laughs> this is what makes base building just on a whole new level because now people can't just simply co copy bases. You know, they're not gonna know where the traps are positioned. It also makes uh, it a lot harder for attackers because if you don't properly you know, kind of try to assess where the traps might be, it can end an attack pretty quickly. So there's a explosive mine and a flying bomb. They do exactly what you would imagine. There's one for ground and there's one for air and they do do AOE damage. Also, there's all kinds of new UI loading screens, which look pretty great. Uh, Mira has 10 more levels, so now she goes up to 40. All troops have one more level to upgrade. Uh, Mira's look changes according to her level. That was a nice little touch I didn't expect. Here's another cool one too. Clearing obstacles in your base now requires either gold or oil, but you can find sapphire. So if you kind of combine that with the challenges, here's a way to start slowly collecting some sapphire. They talked about improving calculating building targets for all units. This is amazing. It's going to be easier for units to go to the HQ, which is really what this mostly fixes. We've all watched Mira walk away from the HQ before. This is gonna help with the targeting. Also, they improved the boom cart target finding. I think they still need to do some work here, uh, but it is good to know that they're constantly working on it. You can also upgrade walls with oil past level five. So from level five to max, this is very, very helpful. Uh, buildings flags are now moving with the wind. So a cool little touch. Phage and Helicopter's 3D models are scaled down. Just a visual update. There's also an app icon with Groot and Blaze. Uh, UI building's health bar is now bigger. Uh, building's health bar now stays visible in battle if the building is damaged, which is interesting. Uh, 3D in-game view available in the character's info menu. So when you tap on the 3D or in-game view, you can now see that. Also, there's some UI stuff. Uh, the army menu, you can now see all characters available without scrolling. 
uh, stats on buildings and characters, DPS meaning damage per second, HP meaning health points, HPS meaning hit per second. This is good because it was a little confusing before, so I like how they clarified that. So these are the major things that they've added and updated, but now there's all kinds of balancing things that they did. Now I take a little bit of time talking about this with you guys, because Mira, they did lower her DPS by 34%, but don't forget, we got her ability. It more than makes up for that damage reduction. I actually think she's stronger than she was before. Boom Cart's favorite target multiplier is minus 58%. That's cool. That's just helping with the balancing. Mark's Woman now do 33% more DPS. They desperately needed this buff. They were probably the least used trope before, and now they're viable again. Blaze did get a little bit of nerf on the DPS, but the hit points are up 28%, so they're a little bit more tanky. I actually find they feel stronger. So that little bit of extra hit points is making a big difference. Uh, Thyra, also she needed some love. DPS is up 22%, HP 9%. We've got Healcopter healing range up 70%, 17%. This is good because they used to get too close to units and they just get wrecked by the anti-air. So now they have a little bit more range. This is better, but they did lower the HPS by 14%. Walls actually got a bit of a nerf. Their HP went down 50%. So troops can kind of bang through walls a little bit, but it's inconsistent. You know, it's hard to get troops to do that properly if it's not the first layer, but it does help. Uh, also motors are minus 12% HP, anti-air. You guys are gonna notice all these structures, the hit points are reduced. So troops got a bit of a buff and then buildings got a bit of a nerf. So anti-air missile DPS minus 24%, 4% HP. They just hurt less. What I really noticed the most with this is they don't instant kill Skyfires. So it actually takes two shots now to kill a Skyfire. Ice Tower was down 6%, 18% HP. Rocket Tower kind of similar, 16 and 22. Sniper Tower, 17 and 18. Flame Tower, 6 and 3. So all of the defensive structures basically got a bit of a nerf on the damage and the HP. So they don't hurt troops as much and they're easier to kill. I think this balance was very, very needed. The game was extremely hard at HQ7. Uh, it was very difficult to consistently get even two stars and three stars were only really possible against very specific types of bases where you could make three entrances and sweep cleanly through the base. That was pretty much it. Then. We also, you know, they did a reduction on the regular structures too, like the Rally Point minus 4%, HP Gold Collector 13, All Ring 13, Infantry Factor 6, Vehicle Factory 18, Aircraft Factory 37, and Laboratory 20, and then 100 plus bugs were fixed. So guys, like I said, this was an absolutely massive update. You know, there was a lot of things that they added, updated, and did balance changes. I'm having an absolute blast right now. Air armies are actually vile, viable, which is a ton of fun. So I'm curious, what are your guys' thoughts about this update? Leave a comment down below. And I just wanna say thanks so much for being subscribed to the channel. Really makes a big difference. And of course, smash that like button. See y'all in the next video. Cheers.